Susan, what's really going on there? What's really going on there is um, it's a lockdown facility where these girls are broken. That is his goal. That is his stated goal in written material in his sermons. The goal is to break the will. What kind of teen were you before you went? Were you rebellious? Uh, were you... I actually wasn't rebellious, but I did run away from home. Um, well, that was... sounds kind of rebellious. <laughs> yes. But then when you got to this facility, did that seem worse than where you came from? Oh, yes. I, I agreed to go to Hepsib House. It was painted to me as being, you know, a lovely place for healing where I would get personal one-on-one -on -one counseling with professional who specialized in child sexual abuse. And you said when you were there at 30 weeks, for example, in total time, you weren't allowed to speak. Absolutely. And why were you not allowed to speak? I was constantly on sentence restriction because I, I'm not, it's not very easy to break my will. Well, how was that achieved? How did they keep you from talking for 30 weeks? Um, sentence restriction, it's given weekly. That's where you are given, um, you have to write a Bible passage. So let's say 12, 13 verses, 500 times. Um, while you're on sentence restriction, you are not allowed to communicate with the girls you're around. Um, you are only allowed to do necessary talking to the staff, such as, may I use the restroom? There was no communication. So there's that, no chit chat. You can't talk Absolutely at dinner. Not. You can't talk to somebody in the hallway nope. or in the bedrooms or anything like that. Nope. And if you were caught trying to communicate, like if you made eye contact with somebody from in a mirror, um, you would not be able to look in the mirror. And sometimes if they thought you were going to communicate, you would have to look right at a wall. I recognize that sometimes if you've got like wild, out of control, defiant, rebellious, screw authority, I'll do what I want. Sometimes you have to be rigid in restriction and structure. Mm -hmm. I'm not saying abusive. There's two very, dif right. very different things. But I'm, I'm curious what kind of, of young girls they were dealing with. What was your situation? I was in a fundamentalist home already. So by mainstream standards, I was a pretty good kid. But I did rebel against my parents' rules, which was... Um, not listening to the radio, not watching television, not wearing pants. So and rebel how? I would sneak and listen to the radio. And if I had a friend that I could go to that wasn't part of the church and they had a television, I would watch it. Or if I thought so I could... So you would listen to the radio, yeah. you devil child. Right, right. <laughs> we told the pastor that there were allegations that this was a prison-like condition. And here's what he said. Uh, we said it was like a, a dark basement and only outside occasionally, 12-foot fence like a prison around. And his response was, the girls live in a ground-level walkout basement, which has many windows looking out to a large yard. Sunlight comes in every day. The outside recreation area is large, includes a volleyball net, fire pit where the girls enjoy songs, fellowship on warm summer evenings, roasting marshmallows and singing songs together. The area also includes a large garden for raising vegetables, uh, beautiful flowers, as well as a picnic area where meals and other outdoor activities are enjoyed in good weather. They also enjoy ministry animals such as dogs, rabbits, kittens, and even farm animal or two. The girls are outside five days a week in nice weather on weekends as well. They walk every day after school around the track or if it's raining, they do a, a Leslie Sansone walking program. Um, they walk in a gerbil trail around that little fence. How many times do you think, Kaylee? Uh, I can't say specifically how many times. We would, we, it was during Bible memory, so we would be, it, 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 until the staff thought that we had gone around the track and recited the Bible verses that we were learning, because we were required um, for our star charts to say scriptures as part of our grading system. Uh -huh. So they would help us memorize by walking around the trail. I would say probably 12 times seems about right, but I can't be sure. Because this sounds like Mary Poppins, like you're walking <laughs> yeah. around with umbrellas. These and... are rarities. This, yeah. does, this is not a common occurrence that we get to enjoy.